And this is the Warrior 725 update. Now, Warrior hasn't actually seen too many changes for Fury. Most of the changes were done to arms. Um, Fury had a few uh, balancing things, mostly around the use of trinkets and their base damage going up. Uh, but the talent options are basically the same as they were before. The rotation hasn't changed in any significant way. Um, and we'll see how that goes with tier 20 once those bonuses start, uh, more information on those bonuses starts coming out. I'll be able to adjust the, uh, the priority system accordingly. Um, big things here is that the layout has been changed, although it should, for a lot of you, look very similar similar to the way it looked before, minus a few of the extra bars like the Enrage and the Frothing Berserker bar, and uh, also Juggernaut will appear once it's active. Now, if you were to take the Wrecking Ball talent, um, a new icon will appear much more front and center than the previous build, and once it procs, it'll stick out to you, and it'll also chain into the new appearance for the Whirlwind Tracker, which is also right there. So it's just a much cleaner, much more obvious appearance for those kinds of buffs. Now, ARMS did see a number of changes. They had moved a bunch of talents around and a bunch of spell IDs needed to be corrected. But the big thing here is that um, Focused Rage is not really part of the rotation anymore. It's not so viable. Still, it is there and it will highlight orange, as you saw there, when it's a good time to, to use it. And it'll keep your stacks tracked there as well. Um, whether or not you use it is up to you. It all the all the conditions for it are still there, and it still works the way that it did in the previous version. Um, it's just that with the changes for other abilities, it's not as viable as it once was. And um, a few other things have happened. Uh, Whirlwind will be suggested in place of Slam, depending on your talents, and the rest of the rotation follows the basic routine. Now, I did put the tier 24 piece into the rotation. I'm I haven't had too much opportunity to test it, but um, assuming that everything is as it is when when that tier bonus comes out, you should see uh, Bladestorm pop into the rotation while that tier piece is active, um, and it fits into the, uh, the rotation accordingly. Now, finally, for protection, um, again, I just realigned a lot of the icons. I did remove the Ignore Pain um, absorb value since that was also appearing in just your natural absorb area so what you'll see when you use abilities like ignore pain number one the bars have been moved to be more in line with the other profiles and layouts um, so there's shield block it'll be just a standard bar once you use ignore pain it'll show you the duration of it and the absorb amount will appear in the same place as every other absorb added into any other absorbs that you may have um, i move the defensive abilities of shield wall and last stand to the top and all and the other row is exactly as it was albeit i move the artifact ability to the other side all that being said the rotation for this is exactly the same, and it still has the functionality for Revenge, where if you are in combat and you dodge or parry a blow, it will have it, uh, and it becomes free, it will display a glowing border letting you know that it is free, just like that. So all other things are exactly as they were. I removed a few of the fluff abilities that aren't really necessary and a bunch of passives that were once present, but other than that, it's exactly the same. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like what you see, and I will catch you guys in the next video.